Hi guys, in this today video I'm going to show you my entire Lego collection. So now I have 128 Lego sets and 234 Lego minifigures. And actually all of my sets are complete. That means that there aren't any sets which have missing parts or pieces. So I think that's quite good. So uh, now let's take a closer look at my Lego collection. So first let's start with this IKEA Billy shelves. Let's start at the bottom. I have some ambulance sets like the hospital, this plane and some Lego City space sets. Here I have some Lego City uh, cars and longer trucks and vehicles. Here I have my ski sets, ski resort and the snow groomer set. And actually my favorite car is the Volkswagen Transporter T1. And uh, I don't only collect Lego ones, I like these metal toy cars as well. And uh, I of course have the uh, Lego version of uh, two. And it's actually my favorite set from all of my sets. I like this set very much. It's very, very cool and detailed. And here I also have this Lego light keychain. Here I have some other Lego city cars and gas station, stuff like that. My Lego passenger train. I like this white train very much. I think it's one of the best Lego city trains ever made. I like it very much. Above it, I have my Lego city passenger plane from 2020. I think this is a very cool and amazing plane. I like it very much. Next to it here I have some Technic sets. Motorcycle as well in the back. back. Here I have some Creator 3-in-1 sets. Here I have sets with these small boxes. These plastic boxes, not the usual cardboard boxes. And I have this uh, older Lego team, these racers, which is already a retired Lego team. And this is actually my oldest Lego set. It's from 2006, I think. Here I have both sides some Lego keychains and my collectible minifigures, which I've made a video before. And this is my favorite Lego minifigure, this space minifigure. It belongs to this Lego minifigure, A Visual History. I think it's a very interesting book. It describes how Lego minifigures were uh, found and what were the first versions, stuff like that. Here I have my Lego police station, this hovercraft, which still doesn't have a place. And actually this shelf is empty because whenever you see a white background in any of my videos then it's actually made over here. So it's quite like a good filming place with this white background. So I wouldn't like to fill this shelf only if I don't have space anywhere else. Here I have Lego City cars. Under it I have my Lego City police cars too. I like this one, this is a very cool car. And here I have my Lego City advent calendars. I have the 2011 one, the 12, 13 and 14 calendars. Here I have the Lego Boost robot. This is one of my biggest Lego sets, I like it very much. Here I have this Lego City Submarine. And here I have all of my Lego instructions, catalogs and some smaller adverts from Lego. 
and actually I have I have all of the Lego catalogs uh, from 2016. Over here I have the Lego Volkswagen Beetle. I like Beetles very much too. And I have a, I have a toy, a metal toy version as well. Here I have my Speed Champions shelf. Well, I don't have too much Speed Champions, but I uh, plan on getting uh, some of the newer 2021 Lego seat, sorry, Lego Speed Champions set. So the 2021 summer ones, like the Koenigsegg Jesko, uh, the big McLaren Alva, and maybe even the Toyota GR Supra. Here, I have this big storage under my bed. I have some helicopters and stuff like that here. These cars belong to these helicopters. Some larger trucks and cars from Lego City. Here I have this playmat for the Lego Boost Robot. Here I have my train tracks. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't fit in this storage with the top of the box. So I uh, used the top of the box for these new road plate signs, plates and these ramps to keep. Here I have some smaller planes, poly bag and smaller sets as well. And uh, these sets here and this helicopter is actually fake Lego, so that isn't real Lego. I have this Lego dots bracelet. And here in this smaller box here I have some minifigures and pieces that I built and bought separately at the Lego store. And in this box I have all of my spare pieces. Well, quite my spare pieces. Lots of them. And over here in these boxes I have like the fake Lego spare pieces, some broken Lego pieces, which of course I bought new ones and replaced them in my sets. Here I have some smaller storages too, my only classic set, the Stream one monster truck and this Lego City demolition set. Here I have my Lego City has the fire station, some sets which come with the new road list like the family house, shopping street, skate park. I have four of the normal road play sets as well. And my biggest set, the Vestas wind turbine, which, uh, I'm sorry about that, but it uh, spins. So I put back the tree. So I have some smaller sets in the city too, like Lego stand, this car, skater, the blue sports car. And uh, here I have some more Lego sets. I have this Lego Technic 24 hours race car, very cool Technic set. And here in this box I have this Lego set. And I have some more, I have these wheels and this uh, plus uh, extra bricks in these bags. And here I have uh, some Lego sets, sorry, Lego parts and pieces which I bought uh, used because I don't like getting apart my sets, so I bought these used so I can just build what I would like. I can build this car myself. And the last thing I would like to show is my Lego boxes. I keep them up there. I think they look very nice. And of course, I put them in the back, so behind them and each other, so they uh, use less space. Uh, but I think this is very cool how they are at the top there. So yeah, those are my 128 Lego sets and 234 Lego minifigures and as I said in the beginning of the video uh, all of my sets are complete so 
there aren't any sets which have missing parts or pieces. So I like my collection very much. Let me know your opinion about my Lego collection in the comment section below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.